right, I got a lot of noise down here, so hopefully you can hear okay. Um, I'm gonna put in the newest version of my exhaust system on my X1. It's a bit of a demonstration for the X1 and the P1S, and um, the only difference being they're kind of mirrored, but the whole thing's the same otherwise, and I also want to show how the LED system is supposed to go in. I haven't done it yet. I just printed it, but I'm pretty confident that it's going to work. The idea of this system, I, I demonstrated a previous in a previous video, one coming off the side. With this new one, it's going to come off the back of the machine and allow us to capture the exhaust at the same time as um, pulling air out of the top of the machine, but from the back side. And the P1, my understanding, I could be wrong, because uh, I don't have a P1, but the P1 exhausts where the fan is, and the X1 series exhausts on the other side. In other words, the fan pushes air in. And so the difference between the two is kind of a mirroring of it. A little, there are some subtle differences. It's not a direct mirror, but um, almost a mirror so that you've got the capture on the left side for the X1 and capture on the right side for the P1. So let's just put this together. I've already taken the glass, my AMS off in the glass, obviously. These parts um, should all just drop in together. And what's different now is I put a, a series of um, kind of notches on the front and the two sides. And you could put the glass in now, you're good. You're solid, you're sealed, uh, with one exception. And that is that I made a little zigzag um, spot at the back so that um, we can run the cord out and put a little strain relief there. If you're if you're not putting a cord there, you want to drop in this little blocker that will just close up that gap. So uh, I'm not going to do that because I'm going to put in a blocker. And I'm not sure whether I want to put the LEDs on this first or if I want to drop it in. But let's just see what it looks like. The three pat these three bars are identical. So you just print one design print it three times. And those are going to drop in there. And the idea is that we're going to run the LED lights stuck onto that around and then out there. I purchased this um, really inexpensive USB powered one. I was a little skeptical because on my Vorons I'm using um, really bright lights and I was concerned that this might not be bright enough. But in fact, after trying it not in the machine, because I haven't tried it in the machine yet, but trying it not in the machine, I was pretty happy with it. I think it's pretty bright. So it's got an on off switch and a light level control and an, I just need to find a USB to stick that into. So the idea is we just run this cord through here and then I'm gonna pull the backing off and try and adhere it to these panels one at a time and just see how that goes. In my uh, Vorons, I, it's a little different, but I did have a little trouble with the adhesive, so I'm kind of aware that that might happen. And to help address that, in these slots where the notches are, I put a little tiny slot so we could put in a small zip tie if needed, and that will just create a little uh, help, a little support for the adhesive so that it's less, less likely to separate from the printed part. So, but hopefully, these are freshly printed parts, so they should be nice and clean. Back that up. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do here, but I think I'm just going to let it take a natural bend. just 
press these all on firmly. Hopefully that will cure and stay on. And then if you haven't used this LED lighting before, uh, what you do is you just cut it at the length where you want it. A knife or a good pair of scissors will do it. And there's a break where it's marked. You probably can't see it the way I just did that, but right at the end, or uh, wherever there's these um, solder joints, solder spots, that's a, a break. So you can just cut on there. And that should do it. It's fired up. Of course, I probably don't have anywhere to plug it in. Inches away. And I think that's gonna give me just enough light to make this a much more comfortable to operate internally. So the glass goes back on and we're all sealed. And let's see what it looks like inside. Yeah, it's nice, really nice. Uh, and then I'm just gonna build the exhaust, the backside. But uh, I'm gonna do that later because I haven't finished printing one of the parts. All right, so kind of picking up where I just left off installing the uh, LEDs. I've put the AMS back in uh, or on the machine. So that's pretty straightforward. And I've now attached a um, variable control flow valve onto the back of the manifold. And I didn't think the video of that. So that's not in the video. But basically that's where, you know, we've got the frame in, the LEDs in, the manifolds um, here on the back forms part of the frame. And at that point, you really just drop on the remaining part. So the, what I call the funnel snaps in up on, it's, it's hooked in on each side here, should be hooked in each side there. Uh, and then the part that covers the, the, the fan output. So the fan on the, the X1 series is sucking in here. So the air is coming out the poop chute and this little vent here. So this is designed to cover those two up. And that's just magnetically attached and it sits on there pretty solid. Then the poop trap, it um, just slides in and it's important because that's what's sealing the lower half because keep in mind, this is blowing air in. So air is coming out there and we want it to all come up here. So you have to close off this. So you have to have this here. And then once that's in, just attach your hose. Again, I'm using my quick release head, but you could have this pipe clamped on here. You could do whatever you want and uh and that's it that's the whole system it's um very very simple once it's put together it stays pretty pretty neat and tidy the ams connections that are right here flow th in behind it there's a fairly big gap in there so everything stays in its native position and the led uh connection the new led connections here I should note in this video, because I'm not making a video for the P1S, it's almost identical to the P1S, only everything's mirrored. So in that case, you're coming down this side because that fan apparently blows out. And uh, therefore, the LED connection is now over here. So it's just a, a mirror of it, but you would actually build it exactly the same. And yeah, that's it. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Happy to uh, talk about it and also make further modifications if anybody... Um, has you know suggested improvements or other things a few people have asked me about putting one of the risers or maybe building in a riser into this system but i think the risers that i've seen could just sit on top of this in my case i have a rack here so i can't go any higher i'm not going to use a riser and i don't really need it one of the explanations was so you can see into the work area but with the new lighting you can really see into here well so I'm good, but I think since the frame that I've inserted replicates the original top, I think a riser would sit on there, but it's something to have to try that to, to know for sure. Anyways, there you have it.